Laputa Pass in Rocky Mountain National Park is where the Colorado begins. Straddling the Continental Divide, an average snowfall of around 12 feet a year in this region melts and flows through seven U.S. states and Mexico to the Sea of Cortez. The Colorado River is the lifeline to this whole basin and has been since people settled here you know, back in you know, 150 years ago. The Colorado River provides drinking water and power to expanding western cities. It irrigates farms that grow the lion's share of the nation's produce and supports a vast array of recreation. But long before it reaches the sea, increasing demands drain the river and a decade-long drought makes the problem even worse. As the planet warms, we expect the jet stream to retreat farther and farther to the north, taking with it all of the rain-bearing low-pressure systems that California relies on and the southwest U.S. for much of their water. Growing populations to the west have disturbed long stagnant desert dust. This dust now coats the snowpack in the Rockies and intensifies the sun's rays. When the temperature rises earlier and earlier each year, the spring runoff happens weeks ahead of schedule. This year, snowpack in the Rockies is actually above average, which is great news for folks downstream. But that is still not enough to restore the flow of the Colorado to the sea. The status quo will not be acceptable for the future, and I would hate to have that be our legacy, that we, we witnessed the moment in time when the river could no longer meet our needs.